Hello everybody, this is Jurassic Adventures, and in today's video, what we'll be doing is repainting this Therizinosaurus to look more accurate to the Jurassic World Dominion version. So, although I didn't love Jurassic World Dominion, I did really like the Therizinosaurus and the Therizinosaurus design in the film, so that is inspiring today's repaint. So, I already shaved down all the joints on this figure and also primed this thing in gray, so we can just get right into this repaint. The first thing we're going to do to this figure is actually just dry brush the underbelly and a bit of sort of a tannish gray green color. What I've added to the Therizinosaurus is I have just dry brushed a little bit of some desaturated pink and blue tones to give it some color variation on the underbelly that is seen uh, on the sort of renders and on the Jurassic World Evolution 2 version of this animal. And uh, now what I'm going to do is take the airbrush and with a darker color, just go over all of these top feathers. With the dark grayish green color up top all done, now I'm going to go over where the red should be with a little bit of brown as the sort of base coat for that. So now that we have that airbrushing done, we're gonna get straight to dry brushing. And the first color is gonna be a dark warm gray and we're gonna hit all of these feathers right here that are uh, sort of that dark greenish gray color that we airbrushed before. Next thing we're gonna do for this figure is just start dry brushing some lighter gray to sort of build up that line that you see on the side that goes down the Therizinosaurus. Next step that we're going to do to this Therizinosaurus is on these sort of lighter gray uh, stripes that we did. We're just going to put a wash on there and that's like a grayish brown sort of wash. It's just thinned down paint and then we're going to take a paper towel and wipe all of that away. And what we'll, we, what we'll have left is just that sort of color in the cracks and give it a little bit more of that texture that it's supposed to have. Now that we have most of the dark body done and also that light little stripe on the side, we're going to get into the sort of reddish color on the back here and starting off with a bit of a brownish red tone. We're just going to dry brush it over those feathers. The next step we're going to do is just start building up a bunch of sort of pink and red tones and really get all of those feathers all dry brushed and looking nice. Now that we're done with the red feathers, we can move on to the head, and the head has a ton of different colors and stuff we need to do, so let's get right into it. The first color we are gonna use is sort of a pinkish tan color. It's a really weird color, but that is gonna be for just some of those base tones on the head. Next color is gonna be sort of this greenish blue teal color. Now that we have most of the head done, we can move into some of the finer details. I already just base coated the eye in a little bit of light gray, but now what I'm gonna do is paint the beak in some tan. With the beak coated, now we can do some of the finer details and those are gonna be in some dark brown. And then lastly for the beak, we just gotta coat it in a bit of some brown ink. Before we paint the eyes, there's one last step and that is going to be the mouth specifically the teeth and those are just gonna be in a bone white color. I already used the um, pink that we did on the face earlier to just paint the mouth real quick. And just like almost all of my repaints, once that is done, I put a brown wash inside of the mouth. Next is the claws and obviously for those, we're just gonna paint those in black at first. Now we get into the eyes. So starting first, I'm gonna go with the left eye and that one is just gonna be a normal eye. So for this one, we're just gonna start off with a little bit of some burnt orange. Now that we have that sort of orange done inside of the eye, we can get into the pupil. And that is in black, of course. Now for the other eye, the right eye, which is in fact blind as you can see in the movie, we are gonna start off with a pink bait. Next, we're gonna take some light gray and start putting it inside of that eye. Next, we're gonna take a bit of a light blue color and add a little bit of accents inside that eye. After that, we're gonna take an even lighter gray than what we previously used and do another little sorta accent. And then the very last thing we're going to do, obviously, is just a little white light catch. And 
And then after that, lastly, we're just gonna take a bit of some dark cool gray and make that sort of faded pupil that you see. And of course, the last step is to just gloss up the eyes, the mouth, and also the claws. And that, guys, is it for this repaint on this Jurassic World Dominion Therizinosaurus. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this is Jurassic Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.